Welcome to VAK's lecture. In this video, we will discuss about the some of the input devices that are used for computer. The devices which are used to input the data are called as input devices. These are used to accept the data from the user for some further process. There are different types of input devices. I have listed some of the input devices here. Puncher cards, keyboard, mouse and joystick. Now we will discuss about all these one by one. Puncher cards. Puncher cards are used as an input device. Puncher card contains rows and columns on its surface. When we keep these cards inside the puncher machine, then that puncher machine makes holes on these cards to represent the data. These are not reusable ones. We can enter the data only for once by using one puncher card. If you want to re-enter another data, then we have to use one more puncher card. The same already used puncher card cannot be used for another data. So that these are not reusable ones. Keyboard. This is most common input device. By using this keyboard, we can enter the data or the instructions. Whatever instructions we give, all those are reached to the memory unit. There are two types of keyboards, standard keyboard and enhanced keyboard. Standard keyboard contains 80 or 100 keys and it receives 16 characters per second. Enhanced keyboard contains 130 keys and it receives 100 characters per second. Generally, any keyboard contains A to Z keys, 0 to 9 digits, F1 to F12 functional keys, escape, delete, insert, home, page up, page down, etc. All are special keys. Left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow are the cursor moment keys. Of course, everybody knows about this keyboard. Mouse Mouse is also called as pointing device. It controls and point out the moment of cursor on the screen. It contains four parts, left button, right button, scroll wheel and cable. By using left button, we can open any application or a file. By using right button, we can open a pop-up dialog box of a particular selected icon or a file. By using scroll wheel, we can move the pages to up and downward directions. The cable of a mouse can be connected to one of the port in CPU. Of course, we are having cableless mouse also. There are two types of mouse, mechanical mouse and optical mouse. In mechanical mouse, if you observe the back side, there will be a ball type of mechanism. Due to that ball mechanism, this mouse can work. In optical mouse, there will be a light beam on the back side. Because of this light beam, the optical mouse can work. Joystick. It is also called as a pointing device that is used to move the cursor on the screen. It is a stick and having a spherical ball at the both ends, that is at lower end, upper ends of the stick. Lower end is fixed to the plane. We can move the upper end in all directions. If you observe a car, inside the car a gear will be there and this joystick looks like a gear in the car. The functioning or the working of the joystick is same as mouse only. It is mainly used in CAD, computer aided and design. Especially it is used for engineering purpose. And then it is used for playing computer games. In shopping malls, we can observe these joysticks in children's computer games play area. In our next video, we will discuss some more input devices. If you understand the concept in my video, please like, share, subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.